With 23andMe, you can discover where in the world your DNA comes from. Well, the at-home genetic testing company 23andMe lets customers know their family roots and some health information, but the company's finances have been rocking and possibly on the verge of bankruptcy. The stock lost 98% of its value. And this has led the company's 15 million customers to question what happens to the DNA they submitted to the company. Well, experts say the personal information could be sold. KPRC2's Real Juan Belogan explains how the data could impact your health and life insurance. Hey, we should first make it known 23andMe is not a health company, which means the genetic data collected isn't protected in the same way as health records. Records, the company says in the fine prints, they can sell. This is my great-grandfather. Sandy Zimmer shares pictures of her family. Their family history is one reason why she decided to buy genetic testing 23andMe. Both of my, my parents passed away from cancer. Mm -hmm. You want to see the likelihood of having something like that crop up. But as news of the company's shaky finances make headlines. 23andMe is now 23andMe and insolvency. 23andMe on the verge of getting delisted now from the NASDAQ. Zimmer worries about what happens with her personal data, and she has reason. According to James Langabier, a professor of emergency medicine and biomedical informatics at the University of Texas Health Science Center in Houston. My, you know, my fear as, as someone involved in informatics is when you have a struggling company that is really unsure about how are we going to make cash flow, how are we going to make payroll, what fear do you have with that? What do you think could happen? What I see happening as a very likely case is people getting turned down for life insurance because they know things more about you than we knew. The information isn't limited to the 15 million people the company touts as customers either. There's a lot we can learn about people through their family members. I didn't submit my information to this company, but maybe a cousin did. Could that data from my cousin some sort of way lead to me? Absolutely. But that doesn't mean that other companies couldn't use your genetic, or your family member's genetic data to make, to draw conclusions about you, your family, and your community. But there's something you can do. You can go to your account settings and request the company to remove your information, and they have 30 days to do so. But what they've already shared can't be recovered. Yeah, the more you think about it, the more concerning it becomes. Basically, the thing that I was most concerned with was when he talked about it influencing getting health insurance, life insurance, because the DNA could say you could possibly have this even though maybe you never will. How does that make you feel when you hear that? Not too secure. Not too secure at all. In a statement of KPRC2, 23andMe spokesperson says they're making significant progress on the long-term su success of its business. When I ask about the personal data, they shared the customer is in the driver's seat and providing choice along the way. I'm Roman Blogan, KPRC 2 News.